Determination of the focal length of a concave mirror The methods to determine the focal length of a concave mirror are Distant object method Parallax method Normal reflection method Distant object method let us understand the principle of the distant object method. The rays of light coming from a distant object are always parallel to each other. These rays of light, after reflection from a concave mirror, converge at a point on the principal axis called the focus. The distance between the mirror and the focus is known as the focal length. Here you can see the ray diagram showing the principle of the distant object method. Let us now calculate the focal length of the given concave mirror. Mount the concave mirror vertically on a stand in such a way that it is facing some object which is outside the laboratory. Place a screen in front of the mirror. Adjust the position of the screen until a clear, well-defined image is obtained on it. Measure the distance between the image and the mirror. This distance gives the focal length of the mirror. Repeat the experiment and calculate the mean focal length. Parallax method Parallax method is based on the fact that whenever an object is placed at the center of curvature of a mirror, the image is formed at the center of curvature itself. The distance between the mirror and the object is the radius of the curvature of the mirror. Half of the radius of curvature gives the focal length. The ray diagram shown here gives the principle of parallax method. Let us now find out the focal length by parallax method. Place the concave mirror on a table as shown here. Fix a pin to the clamp of a retort stand which can be raised and lowered. Adjust the tip of the pin so that it is vertically above the pole of the mirror. Move the pin till its inverted image is seen. Adjust the position of the pin so that the tip of the image coincides with the tip of the pin. Generally, when we look from one side to the other side of the mirror, the pin and its image move separately. To remove the parallax error, adjust the distance of the pin from the mirror so that, when viewed, the pin and its image move together. In this position, the parallax error is removed. Measure the distance of the pin from the mirror which is the radius of curvature of the mirror. Now find the focal length of the mirror, which is half the radius of curvature. Repeat the experiment and calculate the mean value of the focal length. Normal Reflection Method The principle is same as that of the parallax method. Let us recall the principle. Whenever an object is placed at the center of curvature of a mirror, the image is formed at the center of curvature itself. The distance between the mirror and the object is the radius of curvature of the mirror. Half of the radius of curvature gives the focal length. The ray diagram shown here gives the principle of normal reflection method. Let us now find out the focal length. Place the concave mirror in front of an illuminated wire gauze. Adjust the position of the mirror till a well-defined image of the wire gauze is formed at the side of the object.
measure the distance between the object and the pole of the mirror, which is the radius of curvature R of the mirror.